It's the biggest game of the season tonight when the Dolphins take on the Eagles in Philly. Oh, man, this is going to be good. Uh, the Eagles here, you know, certainly have to still be considered up there with the 49ers. Okay, the 49ers are great. They've showed some, you know, there's no reason why the Eagles can't still, hey, home field advantage still, you know, who, somebody's going to get home field. Now, don't sleep on the Dolphins. I mean, hey, look, okay, the Bills are back. The Chiefs are the Chiefs. The Dolphins are right there. The Dol You can't tell me with that offense the Dolphins can't go in in the playoffs in any of those two cities or this city and win the game with that offense. And, the, and that defense. The defense is okay. It's not like the other top contenders maybe. But they've done a nice job getting a, a defense that can be good enough to – be a Super Bowl contender. The Dolphins are there. The Dolphins have it. This, you know, because of what we've seen so far, the explosiveness. They've scored 30 touchdowns on 65 drives this season. They've got the off. It's right. It's not the Chiefs right now. Okay, the Chiefs got Mahomes. They've got Cal they've got talented speed. The Niner, or the Dolphins get an injury. They just got another guy to come take their place. It's been too bad they've got some of these guys injured. And you got Coach Logic. And I didn't know, I, I you know, and I follow the, you know, I follow the league. I read a lot of stories, and I don't know. Did you guys see that? Uh, I think was it Clarissa that had the interview with the, uh, with. Coach Logic, he was battling, the, you know, drinking. He was, uh, throughout all of his successes, as he had gone through the ranks, Coach Logic liked to drink. Sounds like he's quit. Sounds like he's quit. Sounds like he's found himself. He was just a young buck thinking he could, you know, have a good job in the National Football League, be a great assistant coach, an up-and-coming assistant coach, and, yeah, hit the bottle a little bit at night. And uh, when he, you know, some other coaches did an intervention with Coach Logic. So don't, you know, we need you, you know, you, you're elite, Coach Logic. You don't need to be going home and doing this right now. You have what it takes to be one of the best coaches. And I think we see that. I think we see that. With uh, with Coach Logic. Oh, boop. No, uh, but the way he described it, it was, uh, you know, it was an every night thing. It was affecting his, uh, you know, job maybe a little bit or maybe affecting his ability to get the job. He's got it here. He's got the, the quarterback, right? Everybody kind of made fun of Tua, in the, you know, kind of in the beginning in a way, but Final. want to keep him healthy. What is that, Mike? Is that a typo? <laughs> God got us, says Eagles might feel a win, Ziggy is on it here. Blake talking about these quarterbacks and their, um, you know, it's not a rivalry because these guys are friends, but they are turning, they're competitive guys. So they've turned it into a little bit of a rivalry in a way. And that was part, uh, that's what you're going to see today too. Well, I mean, I, Guess I've got to make the call. We, um, I think the Dolphins are staying in this game. I think the Dolphins can win this game. I'm going to have a really fun time with this. The variance is there. The Eagles certainly can win and cover, but I just think in a game like this where we, uh, I, I don't think it's a blow. I don't think that the Eagles. 
they don't look like the put away team, right? They don't don't put away teams here necessarily at this point. The Dolphins have the ability to come back at any moment with this team, with this offense. Well, for whatever reason, the Eagles are feels like they're letting teams hang around a little bit here. Now, uh, the Dolphins are pretty terrific coming off of a, a win, 23-12 and 12 against the spread. Coming off of a win. So, Eagles uh, struggled last week a little bit. Well, I say struggled. They didn't. They rushed for only 80 yards, but they had been, uh, you know, one of the best rushing teams in the league. You think of Hurts and all that, but, I mean, the Eagles run the football very, very well. And they were running the ball for like 175 yards, or I guess that's what their average is now, right? Uh, really strong running team. But they've got explosiveness too. Thank you, Ziggy. And uh, man, that total's gone up. Total's gone up high. But uh, in fact, it's fifty-two now since I typed since the last time I typed this in a couple of days ago. But feels like it's going to be fun and have a great game. Uh, pri- I know it's a prime time game. You want to think under here necessarily, but man, it just feels like it's going to be too much fun. You know, with Final. with two of the best, you know, of the best teams, two of the five or six best teams, it feels like you know we talk about maybe it's wide open. It doesn't feel like it is wide open to me. I, I really think I'm more in narrowing it down to those, uh, you know, five elite, six elite teams. If you put in the Cowboys, right? But Philly, San Francisco, right? Chiefs, Dolphins, Bills, does anybody and then and 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 Cowboys and and does anybody want to go anywhere any deeper than that right now? Do you really can can anybody go any you know one step deeper with a you know with a team and really feel uh, compelled about that team of Ravens? I don't know. I don't know if it's there for the Ravens even entirely. It feels to me like those Five teams are the only ones. And the Dolphins might be number five out of those, right? Because maybe you know, they, they're the team that really has doesn't have the experience necessarily. So, you know, be uh, Coach Logic be hitting the vape in between plays. He's got it. He's, you know, can't drink. So, Ivan Riley, it was nice to have you here. I want to shout you out. You made your comments there talking about the Lions. Okay. I'll put them in there. I'll put them. I don't want, I, I can't, uh, Ivan, I can't put the Lions in there. Thank you for mentioning them. I don't want to ignore them because I've certainly, and maybe I didn't include them because of the reason why I won't put them in that elite group because of that. You know, it feels like the Lions could have a situation where they end up playing Philly or, the Niners, right? And that's where you're gonna be like, oh, if you if you said it right now, you'd probably go with the other team. I know my Lions fans are in here. Hey, you know it might right, and the Lions don't have the experience in doing it. But yeah, okay, I'll put you know. They, I certainly put the Lions with the Cowboys at least right now, no doubt about it. Even with the Cowboys, give them a little bit of experience. I mean, I mean they've had some playoff games. All right, I'm taking uh, the Dolphins here. I'll take them on the money line as well. Dolphins to win, keep it rolling, uh, get even more attention at this point. Uh, Just the Eagles, I think they've given just a little bit back here over the last couple of games. Wouldn't reflect it necessarily in the record because this is a battle of two five-and-one teams, and that makes it all that much more exciting tonight. One worth watching. Which one are you going to have on the big screen? (laughs) The baseball or this one? 